In this video, we are going to derive state transition matrix. On this state transition matrix, you are supposed to get so many problems in gate like technical exams. So, this state transition matrix, how to derive state transition matrix is very important. So, now state transition matrix is nothing but it is the matrix which satisfy linear homogeneous state equation. So, if a matrix is satisfying linear homogeneous state equation then we can say that is state transition matrix. So, up to now from the idea of last class we can say what is state equation. So, the difference between state equation and linear homogeneous state equation is there. There is some difference between normal state equation and linear homogeneous state equation and here I will show you that difference. In the last class we derived the state equation like this. State equation is x dash of t or x dot of t is nothing but d by dt of x of t is equal into a into a into x of t plus b into u of t. This is state equation, but this is dynamic state equation. If you want linear homogeneous state equation, so you just take out this b into u of t up to here dx of t by dt into a into x of t is nothing but linear homogeneous state equation. A matrix, a matrix satisfying this linear homogeneous state equation is nothing but state transition matrix. For example, we want to derive that state transition matrix. I am considering a state transition matrix initially. For example, the state transition matrix which I am going to derive is I am naming that as phi of t. For example, this is my state transition matrix. If I am saying this is my state transition matrix that definitely need to satisfy this linear homogeneous state equation. That means in place of x of t now I can take phi of t d phi of t by dt is equivalent to a into phi of t. So, like this I need to get. So, here I am writing the same let phi of t is your state transition matrix then this, this need to satisfy the equation d phi of t by dt is equal to a into phi of t. The only point which will give you the solution to derive state transition matrix is if a matrix is satisfying linear homogeneous state equation definitely that will be called as state transition matrix. If you are saying phi of t is your state transition matrix then definitely that need to satisfy this linear homogeneous state equation that is why I written like this in place of x of t I am putting phi of t. So, now for example if x of 0 is the value at initial condition t is equal to 0 then if phi of t is your state transition matrix definitely that will satisfy this equation that means x of t is equal to phi of t into x of 0 if x of 0 is the value at the initial condition if phi of t is your state transition matrix then that will satisfy this condition x of t is equal to phi of t into x of 0 that need to satisfy this condition and one more thing is here for example, if you got this form from this equation, 
then definitely you are supposed to take it this phi of t value the only way to calculate this phi of t is taking laplace transform of this equation 1 so say this is equation 1 and say this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 to solve phi of t to get the matrix for phi of t to get the solution for phi of t we need to consider laplace transform for equation 1 take laplace transform for equation 1 for example if you are taking laplace transform for equation 1 so here you are having d by dt of x of t the laplace transform of derivative of the signal is nothing but s into x of s minus x of 0 this is your equation so here you can take capital x or small x so don't mind so here s into x of x of s minus x of 0 is the laplace transform of lhs similarly for rhs the laplace transform is a into x of s here you are having x of s and x of s form here i am taking this side so here this is s should be in matrix form so that's why i can write identity matrix i if you are multiplying with i that means 1 0 0 1 so you are getting s into i is equivalent to s only you are getting the same so multiplying with identity matrix will result nothing it will result the same so here i am writing like this i am sending this x of s term like this so i can write x of s into s i minus a i'm sending this x of zero term that side so x of zero so i'm getting this form i want to get this form to get the value of phi of t so now i'm taking this term to this side and x of s is equivalent to s i minus a whole inverse into x of zero So here I want to consider inverse Laplace transform. So to get x of t. So x of t is equivalent to x of t is equivalent to inverse Laplace transform of si minus a whole inverse into x of 0. x of 0 is a constant right. So, law inverse transform of SI minus A whole inverse. This is what we are going to get. So, here you just compare X of T time domain and this X of 0 term. And in place of phi of T you are having law inverse transform of SI minus A whole inverse. This is nothing but state transition matrix. So, here law inverse transform of La inverse transform means inverse Laplace transform. So, si minus a whole inverse is nothing but phi of t. This is called as state transition matrix. How to derive state transition matrix means? So, first of all, uh, we need to get the definition for state transition matrix. That is nothing but this is the matrix which satisfies linear homogeneous state equation where linear homogeneous state equation is this so if phi of t is the state transition matrix that need to satisfy this equation that's why i written like this if phi of t is the state transition matrix so if x of t is a signal or variable state variable which is having initial condition at t equal to 0 that is x of 0 if phi of t is the state transition matrix that will definitely satisfy this equation x of t is equivalent to x of t is equivalent to phi of t into x of 0 so you just keep in mind about time domain and s domain the names may be anything you just keep in mind mainly about time domain and frequency domain and here the only way to get this phi of t is by taking laplace transform for this so i'm just taking laplace transform for this so here 
by taking laplace transform i'm supposed to get like this i'm taking this term to this side and i i got x of s is equal to x of 0 so here i'm taking into this form x of t is equal to so means up to here this is not comparable why because this is in s domain and this is in t domain time domain so to get into t domain i'm taking inverse laplace transform again and i got my state transition matrix like this and now i will discuss some parameters with you here this state transition matrix is not unique transfer function is unique and here coming to this one modulus of si minus a will give you the characteristic equation by solving that characteristic equation you are going to get poles and eigenvalues and some other important parameters so si minus a is equal to 0 by doing like this you are supposed to get a characteristic equation with that characteristic equation you are going to by solving that characteristic equation you are going to get your required poles and eigenvalues and here what you will say this phi of s for example if phi of s is si minus a whole inverse this is nothing but reluctant matrix we, are, we can also call this as reluctant matrix where phi of t is the state transition matrix so here this is nothing but inverse transform of phi of s where phi of s is equal to si minus a whole inverse now we will get into very important topic that is nothing but properties of state transition matrix so here for example, if you are taking phi of 0, so that is equal to i. Phi of 0 is equal to i. So now, for example, phi inverse of t if you are taking, then this is equal to phi of minus t. And here, phi of t whole power k, for example, if you are having, so that is equal to phi of k t all these are properties of state transition matrix phi of 0 is equal to i identity matrix and phi inverse of t is equal to phi of minus t and phi of t whole power k you can write it as phi of k t for example if you are having like this phi of uh, t2 minus t0 or t1 into phi of t1 minus t0 for example if you are having like this then this is equal to phi of t2 minus t0 you can write like this all these are properties of state transition matrix so this is also a very important topic on this we are having so many problems related to this state transition matrix only thing you need to keep in mind is this is the matrix which satisfies linear homogeneous state equation which is nothing but this we are taking phi of t as our state transition matrix means that need to satisfy this equation on basing this equation we are going to get the equation for state transition matrix as law inverse transform of si minus a whole inverse so all these are properties for state transition matrix